Hello everyone. Hello from Houston. This is Vicki. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying home, but I guess getting out a little bit too. Um, everything's kind of opening up here where I live and uh, it's kind of nice, but it's kind of scary too. I've been out to eat a couple of times. I'm, I'm going into the grocery store with a mask, but it's still a little bit scary. I mean, if you watch the news, which I try not to, cause it's just, you know, crazy. But um, I did wanna come on this morning and um, do uh, show you a little bit about my new face routine. Uh, it is thundering and lightning right now. So if you see in my window, if you see lights or hear anything, it's a storm coming. I think it's supposed to clear out in a little bit. I have two puppy dogs in here with me because they're scared. <laughs> I have a Shih Tzu named Baby. She's sitting right here beside me. And then I have a Maltese named Lala. They're both little and they're both right here because they know a storm is coming and it's already getting loud and they're scared. So if you hear a bark, you'll know that's what it is. So um, I have, I bought this. So if you haven't seen a new face, this is it. And here's the gel that you get with it, or you buy with it. I had been hearing about this, I guess, last year, and um, a lot of YouTubers have talked about it. They've had it for, they've used it for years. Um, I first heard of it through Angie on Hot and Flashy. I bought this thing with my Ulta points. I actually had enough Ulta points, um, I guess, I don't know, I guess August or September of last year. I bought it and really liked it and actually six, five or six months later I went back and bought the L attachment which I don't I think it's in my bathroom upstairs my other bathroom but um, it, it's just like this but it's a little attachment that goes on here and it has two little prongs and if you see this just pops this just pops off and that attachment pops right back on right there so I keep this all the time right here on my bathroom. It's got like a little charging cradle that you just um, set it on and it sings to you when, it, when it's on there. Um, I keep it charging all the time. Um, I do it in the morning because I believe, if you could do it at night, some people do, but I just feel like if you do it at night, then you go to sleep and you're, you know, everything's like smashed. I don't know if it is as good. I feel like, if I do it in the morning and um, then put my makeup on, I think my face, maybe it's just me, but I feel like my face is lifted. I don't think this is a miracle. Um, you know, it's not cheap, but I do think working and charging, you know, these muscles and moving this stuff around, I think that's good for it. And um, the uh, charge, it doesn't hurt you put you have to uh, use a gel primer like this and when i think when i bought mine i got like a little sample of this and i used it and ran out of it and you can use other stuff i think target has one that i've used and i don't know someplace else i bought one but um i didn't like it as well and i've just gone back to this one and i just buy this is a 10 ounce and i just buy it online so that's what i'm going to use before you use it, I actually got up this morning and washed my face with Hydro Boost. Um, this is by Neutrogena. The reason that I use this one on the mornings that I use my new face is because you want to use something that's oil free. And it actually says that on the instructions. Um, you don't, if you leave oil on your face, the charge, it doesn't work as, I don't think it really works at all. You don't, or it does, it says it just won't work as well. And this Hydra Boost, it says it's fragrance-free, oil-free, paraben-free, yada, 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 everything free. So that's what I use. I've already done that. I washed my face. I have a warm cloth here. I keep, um, I have an old, just an old makeup brush. I think this is a, I don't even know what it is. Oh, Real Techniques. This is an old brush. And I keep this with the uh, gel and I will just uh, do a pump of the gel, put it on my face, do whatever area I'm gonna work on. I usually do my whole face, but what I'm gonna show y'all today just quickly, I'm not gonna do the whole real time, but I am gonna show you what I do. Um, I'm just gonna do it on one side of my face. You would wanna do it on both, but I do think that I can, 
tell a difference. You can do this routine in about 15 minutes. Um, if you want to take longer or work on your, like the areas that I really notice on my face, I can remember my mother telling me, you know, a 40 and 50, that's, you know, you can tell, but when you hit 60, you can really tell a difference, and I think I can. I mean, I want to work on this. This right here really bugs me. I want to work on this. So, um, you know, I think after you did this routine, this routine is kind of the one that I do. I think other YouTubers kind of do a little bit different. I think on New Face, they have a routine that you can kind of follow, but this is mine. So what you want to do is after you wash your, um, you wash your face in the morning, I usually kind of have, um, I leave my face a little bit damp and um, I just squirt a little bit of gel. I have a little, a little plate right here and I'm going to take this gel and I'm looking in a mirror too. I'm going to take this gel and I put it all over my face. I mean on the side I'm going to work on and I go all the way down on my neck. I do my eyebrows. I do it kind of up into my hairline under my eyes and uh, the more gel you have on and the more moist, you know, and damp that your face is, the better, the more comfortable anyway this treatment will be. Um, funny story, when I first got this thing, I told everybody when I was working, um, you know, I got this, I'm going to try it tonight. And I went home, tried it, didn't put enough gel on and went way up into my hairline. And it's not like a shock, it's just kind of a charge. I mean, you can feel it, it's not that painful, but you definitely can feel it. So you turn it on right there. Um, right here in the middle, if you can see, and it's low and the highest. Um, I always leave mine on the highest charge. You can hear, there it is, um, every five seconds, it beeps, so it tells you, so that's what you should do. You should glide and get it into the area that you want, which I'll show you, um, and then, um, that's what it's a five second timer so um what i'm looking at notes here what i want to tell you was about the price so i've got this with my ulta points i had so many points uh -huh. aha how, how unbelievable i'm in there i'm in ulta and sephora all the time i had enough points to get this at ulta uh <coughs> excuse me i got this at ulta but i think if you buy this outright i think they're like 300 325 um, there's a mini that looks just like this, but it's about half the size, and it is, I think, um, like two, I think 200, uh, 199, 200. The mini works just like this one, except for the mini cannot take the um, attachments, so that's why I decided to get this one. And then the little L attachment, the little prong, there's a little attachment, the, the prong one, that gives you kind of more defined area that um, the charge goes to that is um, I think it's 149 so yes the mini is um, 150 to 200 the Trinity this are, this one runs 325 and then the little attachment runs 149 so um, let's get started so I'll show you I usually start so this is my routine you can do you know I'm going to turn it on and then I'm gonna start like right here and go up. And then here and go up. Wait for the beep and then here and go up and wait for the beep. And you're always pushing on your skin, but not hard, but I mean, but you want to move your skin up you want to, you don't ever want to be pulling down. And, you know, you want, and then once you get it there, hold it. So I would do that one, two, three, and I would do that three times. So that's like nine passes right there. Then I would get more gel, because like I said, the more gel you put, you know, the more comfortable. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to feel it. Then the next thing I do is I do what I do press and holds. So I like right here, I get up underneath this jawline and then I press up and I hold it till the beep. And then I get right here, 
get underneath this jawline and press up and hold it till it beeps. And you can feel this. And then I would do it a second time, second time, third time, third time. So I do three passes. Now the next thing I would do is I start right up under here and I go all the way up to my eyes. I don't know if you can see, but you see my eye jerk. It jerks just a little bit. It doesn't hurt. Come all the way up and get it right up over. I don't know if you can see, but I'm getting it like right up over that cheekbone. And then I'm stopping. So this would be one. And this would be two. And I would do those three times. And hold it. So now, then I would do a series of, and I just kind of go back and forth. I don't know how I exactly I came up with this, but this is just what works for me. So now we're going to press and hold. We're going to go on the jaw. One, two, three. So that's one pass. And then we do it again. One, and get up over that, that, you know, that jaw, that bone, two, three, and then we do another pass, one, two, and three. And every one, get up over there and, you know, hold it until the beep. And then we want to do, I always want to do one like right here. Get up over the cheekbone. And then I kind of come down just a little bit, like this, you know, kind of this area. And then cheek. And then down. And then cheek and down. Okay, got that? So now I'm getting more gel again. So I, don't, so I have a surgical scar and I always, so they tell you it's okay to use this thing on your neck, which I'm going to show you this one. We're going to go neck to ear, but don't start in the middle, they say. You know, don't, don't hold this thing and press on the middle where you're, you know, you're right. So get on the side and push all the way up to your ear. There's one. And there's two. And there's one, hold it. And I can feel this too. I mean, I can feel it kind of tingling. So that's two, and then we do three and three. That's all the way up the neck. That's kind of like neck to ear. Then I'm gonna get some more. We're going to do crow's feet and eyebrows so okay so this one is gonna be i want to get right on crow's feet and you just want to go back and forth like right there hold it and then right there and hold it and then there each one hold, hold, hold. And then we're going to do eyebrow lift. And eyebrow lift. And that's one pass. And there's two passes, second one. And you want to get right up over that eyebrow, and then this would be the third pass. Each time you're waiting until you hear the, till you hear the beat. Um, okay, so now we are going to do. We're going to go up like this on our neck. We're going to go up all the way to all the way to the ear. There's one. We would wait five seconds. There, we would wait five seconds. Wait five. And this would be the second pass. And then we'd do the third pass. And 
here. And then third pass up like that. So now we're going to do forehead. So if I was going to switch to the, if I was going to switch to the L attachment, here's where I would do it. So because I would want to work on the 11s, but you don't, this works fine. I mean, but so you do, you go one and hold, two and hold, three and hold. And then you do it three times. So you're going to do nine passes. So here's one. And two. And three. Oh, there's my puppy dog. And then do the third pass. And then just if you, you know, I mean, I don't, my 11s, I definitely have lines right there. You know, and I really put that there and hold and push and let that charge. Okay, then I do push up on my eyebrow again. There's one and two and one. Each time you're waiting five seconds and two. And that's third and two. I can feel this one too. And then I take, so this is almost like the, we're getting close to the end of the routine for this one side of the face. So I take it and I start way over here and go all the way. And I'm kind of pushing up when I do that. And then hold it till it beats. There's two and there's three. I hear thunder again. Okay, so that's three. And then um, we're going to, um, I usually do my 11s again. Push right here and push up and push up and that's three times. And then I usually get my last gel, part, bit of gel I put it underneath my eyes and I start way out here and I come in and I do this a lot. I really, I mean, I can really feel that. And I think that skin that is saggy like right here, I mean, I think that's good for it. So that's two passes, that's three passes. And hold it. And then last, I get right here and hold it. And I put more gel right here. And I do this and hold. Hold and just go back. Okay, so let me turn that off. So that's just kind of the quick version of one side of my face, and then um, and I'm getting my uh, rag to my uh, washcloth to get this off, uh, get this gel off because it it feels good to get it off and it's so thick after you put that much on so that is it that's my routine and then i usually just get the gel off um, with a warm cloth and then i let my face dry and then i start my morning routine i think that's it um i hope everybody's doing good um uh, I think everything's going fine for me. Mom is doing well. She's still um, in the nursing center, but she's doing well. I saw her today. 
she wants to get out and she wants to go visit, but you know, they're testing, they're beginning to test. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. I'm hoping that everybody tests negative and then maybe we'll see some movement to where maybe we can go in. I have not touched her, hugged her or anything since like March the 11th, which is a long time. Saw my dad, my stepmom today, they're doing good. My brother came in, I visited with all of them. It was great, we took pictures. We haven't been together in a while. Uh, my granddaughter finished school. That's great. Um, no more I read Zoom meetings, but um, we had, she really had a great teacher. We had meetings during the week and she got to see, you know, all the, the kids in her class, but that's all done. And um, I was trying to think if there's anything else I was going to chit chat about. I can't, I don't think so. I mean, I'm dieting, so I'm, you know, I've been dieting since I was in high school. I'm like up and down, up and down. I did really good when I, I, I came from, I moved here from Midland. I worked for a major oil company. When we were, when I was in Midland, I got in Weight Watchers and I did really great. And um, we walked all the time and I did so good. And then I came to Houston and kept it off, did pretty good, but I have put on just in the last couple of years and I think just just, you know, just laugh, you know, mom, you know, got sick and um, I got really busy and um, at work. So I had put on, so that was one of the things that I really wanted to do at retirement was just kind of try to, I wanted to do YouTube and I wanted to really start trying to take care of myself. So I joined the gym, I'm, I did water aerobics. I have a workout room practically upstairs. I have a treadmill and, um, I have all kinds of equipment up there, stationary bike. Um, so I do that. I also have been doing tapes, um, you know, like walking stuff on TV. Uh, what's her name? Leslie Sansone. She does like a three mile walk, a five mile walk. I've been doing that. That's great. You know, the dog's sitting there and look at me like, what the hell is she doing? But anyway, I walk. So I've done good. I've lost, feel much better. The other thing I have been doing is intermittent fasting. So that must be the big thing right now. Everybody's talking about intermittent fasting. Um, my stepmom went to the doctor. She kind of got this from the doctor in the town where she's from. I kind of started it like in October or November, have done good. And it has, I mean, it's not too, too difficult. It's no carb or low carb and um, try to fast for like 16 hours and then you can eat for eight hours, you know, maybe eat from I don't know, 12 to eight or two to 10, you know, whatever kind of works for you. I usually get up in the morning, drink water, try to get really busy, and sometimes one-ish, two-ish, have something light, cheese, meat, something, and then have a really good dinner. And then um, yogurt, um, Kroger's has great carb, low-carb yogurt, what's it called, Carb Master. So I have some of that sometime. I buy the Atkins bar, so I've done good. But um, I hope you're doing good. I hope you find this informative. I hope you find it interesting. I have not done a video in a week or two. It just, I think with the end of the school and we had so much going on, um, I just got really busy. I've been doing stuff here at the house. I'm kind of putting a patio in the backyard. So I enjoyed doing this video. If you enjoyed it and, um, you're returning. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. And then if you happened upon this video, if you're flipping through this morning and you happen to find my video, you like it, please, I'd love to have you join us. Subscribe. Hit the little bell. And, um, you know, you can be notified of my, um, any videos that I put out. Um, I have so many people supporting me from where I used to work and Friends, thank you so much. I love doing this. I love being retired. I love doing YouTube and um, I love visiting with y'all. So I will see you next time. Hugs from me to you. Stay safe, please. Stay home. Kind of get out, but stay home too. And I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.